Today's video from Sharpo, we'll take a look at the XCA202 register and how to set the date and time up. So um, it's quite important to do this on a till, I think, even if you're not issuing receipts with every transaction, um, it's good to be able to look back and see what time certain things happened, um, just in case something goes wrong. Um, it just makes sense to do it. You do it on any other technology, so why not do it on the register? This, what I do now, will also apply on the 301, which is from the same range as the 202, and actually the 212 as well, though the keyboard's slightly different on the 212, but the process should be very similar. Okay, so the first thing to do is, the way the manual explains it, is you do the date first, and you enter the date in a uh, eight-digit format. If you're just looking to do the time, so date's already correct and you just want to change the time, you can kind of ignore the first half of this video and then just pick it up where I... Um, do the time programming. So the first thing to do, key round to PGM position. So you, you need the uh, MA key in, which is the master key for the machine. The other key won't turn round to PGM. So um, there we go, round to PGM. Uh, all you do, you literally type in the date. I'm in the UK here, so it's the way we work is day, month, year, which does seem the most logical to me because the year changes the least, so you have that at the end, the month changes the second least, it's the day that changes all the time, so why would you have it any other way, but anyway, that's just that's just us Brits. So the date today is, uh, where are we, it's the 29th of May 2020, um, so 29 for the day, month, May 05, year 2020, then you press the hash TMST button, marked hash TMST, or if someone's programmed this already, it might they might have called it subtotal. That's what the ST stands for. Press that, saves the date, prints it out there, 2905-2020, and then the time is very similar process. You just type in the time. Um, I always do it in 24 hour clock. Um, I guess you don't have to. Um, I'm going to put it to, what time is it now? Time here is 13.56, so 1.356. And then again, you press that subtotal button here. Saves it again, and you get a printout confirming it. So you can now turn the key back round to reg. What should happen is, if, you, if you've done it, once you've set the time up, if you ever want to check the time, um, everyone will look at their phone these days, but these tills are still quite old fashioned, so you can turn the key round to that XZ position and it comes up with a time there. So that's a way of checking you've done it correctly. Okay, so I hope that video has been helpful. And the next video in the sequence will be the tax programming, and then I'll look at uh, programming your receipt header message, getting rid of the um, one that Sharp put on there and standard, and then also do some videos on programming your sales buttons and then doing the sale reports as well. So thanks for checking out this video. If you like it, please subscribe, or for more information on the Sharp Cash Registers, you can visit sharphelp.co.uk. Thanks for watching.